Okay, I am in creative mode. We are testing out skins for Island of the Blue Dolphins. I just saw something in the sky. It's kind of appropriate mm -hmm. because in the beginning of Island of the Blue Dolphins, uh, Karana sees a, an Alute ship with red sails. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys been building on the server? I, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Uh, stand right where I am. Okay. What's your render distance at? You might have to fly up. I okay. just saw something up here. What in the world is this? It's in the sky? Yes! This has to be the work of Jasper. What? I don't know. It's like a red balloon or something. It's... What is this? <laughs> is this needed? I don't believe so. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the mesa. This is cool. I'm gonna jump cool. off into the- oh, no, no, don't jump off there. This is really cool, but what? Should we destroy this or do you think it is like powering some secret <laughs> thing somewhere in the world of bookcraft? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should ask? Oh, no, you're just going for it. This is very strange, but it's kind of a fitting way to start the next book because, uh, well, in the book, they see something red that is, like, completely unknown to them. In fact, uh, Karana's little brother, Ramo, uh, calls it a big canoe because he's just never even seen a ship before. So it's actually kind of funny that I notice it on the day that we start a book where the yeah. character sees something bizarre that's red in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of weird, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to break this one. And I think we should actually start the episode now, Nathan. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. Today is a very exciting day on Bookcraft because we get to start a brand new book. We have finished Misty of Chincoteague, Dog Ear, Tib Willow, if you will do the honors, uh, come with me and escort me into uh, the library through the Hall of Reading where our Misty of Chincoteague banner is beautifully unfurled. Uh, Nathan, are you here? Hello. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I did not expect you to jump out like that, but hello. How are you? Hello. Doing swell. How are you? I am well. It is time, Nathan. It is time to take Misty of Chincoteague and put it up there next to Charlotte's Web and the 101 Dalmatians. Aww. Aww. Dog ear, no! Dog ear! No! <laughs> Sit down, Tim Willow! Sit down, Tim Willow! No! Dog ear! <laughs> No! Nathan, come with me! Come with me! Why, dog ear? Why? Oh no! Oh, no. Dog ear! Dog ear, where are you? Dog it's ear? Going. It's going back through. He did? Yeah. Oh, there you are, dog ear. Go through. Go through. Oh no, there's a baby zombie pigman. Dog ear, why would you do this? And, and why are you sitting down now? I don't know. It might be that glitch now where he won't go through the portal. Uh, now for a while. Yeah, I've seen it happen. I've taken dogs to the nether a lot, Nathan. Oh. Um, if you take them through the portal, then for a while, like, they might not be able to re-go through the portal until they've actually, um... Oh! Uh, Miss Reed's a lot... Uh, Mr. Reed's a little isn't here. He's, oh. uh, he's left his, his library to be run over by Pigman. Okay, dog ear, come back. Come back here now. Yeah, he... Dog ear might just have to stay in the nether for this episode. Because uh -huh. otherwise I'll have to like uh, do another dog ear. Okay, wait. I have a lead. I have a lead. Come here, dog ear. Come on, dog ear. This is not. This is not what we were gonna do in this episode. Just so you know. All right, go on in. I think I think he went in. I think he came, he came through. through. Good, good, good. Phew. What was that? I heard a baby pigman scream. All right, dog ear. Stay leaded to me. Hi guys. Welcome. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> let's head down and grab our new book from Ms. Reads a lot. But first, okay. actually, we have a new sign here in the Hall of Reading, Island of the Blue Dolphins. Nathan, I am so excited for this book. I cannot <laughs> even tell you. Yes, there are not that many things to build in the book, which you might have been wondering about. Uh, but I have an idea 
for two really cool builds that we can do. And also, Nathan, this yeah. book takes place in the Mesa. Uh. Woohoo! Yeah, the Mesa. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love the Mesa. I do. So anyway, we need a banner for Island of the Blue Dolphins. If you're not familiar with the book, please go get it. Get it from your library. Request it. If you're back in school, I am sure that it is in your school library. Uh, so go and say that Stacy Plays told you that you really need to get Island of the Blue Dolphins. It's by Scott O'Dell. It was published in 1960. Uh, but as I was saying, send your banner on Twitter using the hashtag bookcraft banner uh, so that I can get it hanging here in the Hall of Reading and on the outside of the station. Uh, but anyway, it was... Uh, Written by Scott O'Dell, published in 1960, it is actually based off of a true story of a girl that was stranded off the coast of California by herself for 18 years. Uh, okay, dog, right. you are safely away from the nether portal now, so you may sit here and you can sit there. Miss reads a lot. May I please have the book? Here you go. Just try not to dog ear these pages. We will never do that, Miss reads a lot. Never. Dog ear? We won't do that, will we? Shake your head. No, 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 not yes. No. No. <laughs> Listen, Nathan, before we yes. get started on what we're going to build in the next episode, mm. I want to, first of all, I should do a word of the episode. Today's word of the episode is not going to be from the book yet. It is going to just be a word that I thought of that kind of describes the beautiful scenery here uh, by the barn and by my Misty of Chincoteague horse track. And that word of the episode is going to be... Episode 61, Bucolic, which what? sounds a little strange. Bucolic, B-U-C-O-L-I-C. And it means related to the pleasant aspects of the countryside or country living. So if you're looking at some beautiful pastures with some sheep grazing in a field of peonies, you would be like, ah... What a lovely bucolic landscape. It's not a disease. It kind of sounds like a disease. It does. <laughs> does the sheep have bucolia? <laughs> not a word. Not a word. <laughs> uh, now listen. I just shut the door in your face. I'm sorry. I want to do rude. something that we have not been doing for a while in mm -hmm. Bookcraft, which is update my skin to reflect the new book that we're going to be building out of. And so... I sent a, a tweet out saying, send me a, a skin for the main protagonist girl in Island of the Blue Dolphins, whose name is Karana. Actually, her name is Juana Pale, which means the girl with long black hair. Uh, but her secret name is Karana, and she has a little brother named Ramo. That's going to be you, Nathan. Oh, lovely. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go into Dog Ear's Closet of Cloaking. And mm -hmm. I'm going to just kind of change into a new skin here. And Nathan, privacy, please. Could you, yeah, thank you. Uh, and I'm just going to change really quick right now. And then you guys can tell me what you think of these skins that were sent in uh, on Twitter. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right. Well, I personally have enjoyed all of the skins that Twitter users sent in. This one kind of combines elements from quite a few of them. Dog ear, do you like it, boy? <gasps> do you like it? Uh, Nathan, does this pass your test? Good. I think that this is my skin for Island of the Blue Dolphins then. All right. Well, we are off then. Thank you everyone so much for sending me your skins. I really, really appreciate it. We'll do this again in the next book. Uh, okay, so I think I think that's it then. Yay! Woohoo! Woo All right, so let's actually go. Dog ear, you can come. Tib Willow, you keep Ms. Reads a lot company. And we are going to go to the Mesa. Uh, the first place that's mentioned in the book is called Coral Cove. But actually, in the book, uh, in the chapter, the first chapter, the word Mesa is there. So this oh. is a very exciting. So I think that this should be Coral Cove over here. Oh, no. That's sad. Uh oh. Did I win? Yeah, you win. <laughs> I could hear you typing. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're like oh that's sad and i was like he's gonna do it isn't he he is going to try to beat me i don't think so nathan where did dog ear go literally he is the worst okay fine dog ear just go ahead and read your book by the way creeper <laughs> don't think that i don't see you creeper i do see you i know what you're about and i am not about this lifestyle creeper mm. at all do not blow up my mesa that. All right, so I think that this should be Crystal Cove, uh, Nathan. This is yeah. where uh, Karana and Ramos spot the boat. So I think oh. that the boat, the Alu ship, uh, mm -hmm. is going to be right here. It's actually funny. They see a big ship with two red sails, and the little brother has no idea what a ship is, and so he says that it's a, a big canoe. Uh, and at one point, he actually says it's a red whale because he just oh, wow. has, has no idea what it is. So, Nathan. Yes? Build a ship! Oh, dear. Like right here? Anytime you're ready. Yep, right, yep, just oh, go oh, for oh, it. Yep, okay. just go ahead. I'll just head to it. Just, just go for build. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah go. All right, you're waiting. Uh, it's a little slow, but that's okay. <laughs> keep, keep building. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going to go ahead and, and start work on the ship, and hopefully in the next episode, we'll make some progress on it. And if you're reading along, don't forget to tweet me a photo of yourself holding your copy of Island of the Blue Dolphins so that I can collect them for our finale episode of the book. Until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.